Hey, this is Jace, and I'm here with Enrique Ricky Loza, the owner of Si Senor Mexican Restaurant in Bayou Vista, Louisiana. Ricky? Hey, Jace, how are you doing? Good, very good. Thank you good. for uh, having us, and uh, thank you for this opportunity. I just want to um, start out and just, just ask, where are you originally from? Okay, well, thank you, Jetson, to come to Si Senor Mexican Restaurant. Welcome to your home, like you know, like always. But I'm from Guadalajara, Mexico. It's one to the land for the uh, the best tequila in Mexico, yeah. and one to the uh, the best gastronomy of food in Mexico. I'm bartender and waitress in Mexico for like 14 years. Okay. And how pushed me to put it like like my business? Uh, my grandma got a like a uh, toy business, a small toy business in Mexico a long time ago, and. And she put passion and 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 she's business. She like to take care of any customer, and she showed me like love, respect for, uh, and, and professional, to do what you want. She told me always you wanted to do that, buddy. Make a passion, whatever you do, and make a lot for your customer. And that's actually my grandma pushed me a little bit to go in business. So your grandmother's a very strong influence. Oh, in yeah, her. yeah, yeah, because she got like a, a small business toys, mm -hmm. and she got a little stand tacos in Mexico, and she sell like pozole, menudo, you know, like uh, she made gorditas, like the pancakes, like little one, like, you know, like, yeah. Uh, and yeah, like, and, and, and she introduced to me in the business because she really loved like business, and and I start to love it, you know, because when I'm young, I, I grown like, and a small business, like not like that big, but right. my grandma influenced to me too much and to get a like business market. How long have you been in, in business now at Si Senor? Oh, this year is my eight years in the restaurant. Eight years. Yeah, eight years. I work in 10 years like bartender in Mexico and a few restaurants. And now working one to the restaurant over here in Bayou Vista uh, for seven, nine years. And we have eight years in the restaurant. So around like 25, 26 years. 25, 26 25 years total years. in the yeah, restaurant. So, uh, maybe a little bit more, you know, yeah. but like, I felt like a couple of restaurants and I don't really remember it a lot, but yeah, yeah that's what it is. Like, almost like, like 25, 26 years. What is your favorite uh, drink to make? My favorite drink to alcohol or yeah. like, okay, because, alcohol. Uh, okay, uh, alcohol. I like make my Cadillac, okay? I like to make my Cadillac, actually it's like a right here, I don't know the people see it really. Uh, I made like Cadillac. Cadillac, like, okay. Cadillac yeah, Cadillac. 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 Oh, they, oh, you call it like a Top Shop tequila, Top Shop margarita. Yeah. okay. And I call Cadillac. Uh, I made, like, uh, I love it to make it. I put, you know, I'm feeling like passion to make it. I get it the cup, put it salt, put it ice, and get it my shaker, it's like that one. And put it ice, squeeze, orange, and I feel it, you know, like, when the juice of the orange go inside to the, to the, to the glass. And then I got my tequila, I use like uh, Jose Cuervo, and I use Rangala to put in there. And now I got a sweet and sour. My sweet and sour is like a something special, home made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's making like a good flavor. This when I start to make my sweet and sour, I know I go to make my, 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 my Cadillac tequila, and it's so good, you know, like, I like it. I like it to, to make yeah. a Cadillac margarita. Cadillac margarita is very good. If you had to give someone some advice for going into business, like someone starting out to go into business, what would be, from your 25, <clears throat> 26 years of experience, what would, would, uh, what would be that advice? Do what you want, you like it to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like, you, you need to put your passion on anything you do, no matter what. You can fix in cars, you can make a tables, whatever you do, but you need to put your heart, work, your passion, your love, respect for, and, and, and don't give up, you know, go there and stay focused what you're doing. And to the last piece you, to the first piece you put it, to the last piece you put it, try to put it with the same love when you start. You know, like, go forward for that and, and it's, it's, it's good when you love it. Yeah. Just you yeah. really love it, what you're doing, buddy, you there. And I wanted to ask you a, a, um, a question related to COVID. How did it affect you? but also how did you adapt? How did you make the most of the situation? I add my personality in my restaurant. I focus in my restaurant to make it sure everything okay. To make it sure uh, don't feel it. 
but the really, really uh, good principle say that is my customer adapt to me. Uh, uh, you say like how you adapt to the COVID. Well, I try to do the most I can to try to cut a couple of things to not try to spend whatever you're not supposed to spend to try to keep it open my restaurant. Sure. Uh, but the customer add that to, to see senor. Because customer is like consistent coming. Even when it's only like to go, uh, people coming to, to get it to go. And, and I love it. Uh, the first week is almost like by Cinco de Mayo. Do you remember when mm -hmm. I start? I by Cinco de Mayo. That restaurant is like really busy and it's only me and one people in the kitchen and two person in, in, in the front. Uh, <clears throat> and it's like packed, busy, man. It's a lot of people waiting for food, waiting for drinking, especially the day, you know, like Cinco de Mayo is like Mexican festival, you know, like right, American right. people may already like Cinco de Mayo nice. And what well, that day, Jackson, there's a lot of people right here. And it's my, I guess it's my first or my second week. And that night when I go check the sales, man, I'm crying because it's, it's like lovely how the people feeling for si senor. And like the people act with the COVID for si senor. You know, like it's yeah. not only me. Right. Thank you for right. the customer to do that. And, and, and it's fabulous, man. You know, like it's like working hard and put passion and people come back, you know, like. Absolutely. What is your me message to them? What is your message for those who are watching today? Thank you, everybody. You know, to take a time today to watch that video or the day they watching. Mm -hmm. I want to tell like, thank you so much. Appreciate your family. Appreciate your, your, your friends. Uh, take a little time in your days to stay with you people you love it. Stay with your friends. Uh, take a little time to remember you got only one life and you need to join, enjoy with the people you have a love. And then, just you got a little time to come to see si Señor, was well, welcome to see si Señor, come to see si Señor. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. Like, you know, like, come to see si Señor. Come to see si Señor. Come to see si Señor. This is Ricky Loza. It's, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, Jetson. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. And this is Jace signing out. You, when you come to get a free margaritas and see, senor, you can come in like two to five, and then you're welcome to get any margaritas you can get. It. I open 11 to 2, and I close 2 to 5, and now open 5 to 8. Yeah. So there you go, folks. Two to five, all you can drink margaritas. And the chips and sauce is free. <laughs>